We are headed to a free range turkey farm in Petaluma, California. We got a call from somebody who lives on the property of the farm saying that when um, all the turkeys were rounded up this week for, for Thanksgiving slaughter, essentially, you know, all the birds that people are going to be eating next week um, for Thanksgiving, that this one little girl, I guess, was hiding in a corner of the barn um, and so was, was left behind and they told the resident that she could have the turkey for herself for Thanksgiving or they would be back next week to pick her up and send her to slaughter for Christmas. Typical with most of your, you know, free range farms, there'll be large sheds um, with, you know, hundreds if not thousands of birds packed into them with, you know, very little access, if any, to the outdoors and hopefully at least a little bit of access to clean air, but we'll see. This barn is gonna be empty of all the birds, like I said, because they had been picked up a day or two ago, except for this, this one, you know, lucky girl. So in here, it smells, it smells like the most disgusting mix of mold, feces and rotting flesh that you could imagine. It's, uh, it's heavy with ammonia, it burns your nostrils, it burns your mouth, it burns your eyes. Um, and, and it's something that, that lingers, you know, even after you get outside. It's just a really, really toxic thing. It's hard to even, it's hard to be close to these sheds, it's hard to be in here just for the couple of minutes that it takes us to do a rescue. I can't imagine what it would be like to have to live, you know, your entire life in in a barn like this and, and this is again the reality even on on a free range farm So people, you know, are, are really buying into this idea and really trying to cling to this notion that there's the old farm that their grandparents grew up on and that it's a place where, you know, animals and humans coexist peacefully. They get to live out these wonderful, beautiful lives and they give their bodies to us at the end of it. And that's just really not the case. Animal agriculture is an industry and it's an industry based around productivity of their lives and profits from their deaths. It's brutal, it's disgusting, and it's violent. And there's no getting around that, even under these labels of humane or, or free range or cage free. To rescue this turkey hen and bring her back here to our rescue ranch facility in Vacaville. She'll stay here for about a month or so to do her sort of quarantine period to make sure that she's healthy, that she's got you know everything she needs before she integrates into our main flock up in Grass Valley.